First at 530, Lake Okeechobee sits at just over 14 feet and blue green algae is visible along its edge. The big question is, should we worry? WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman went out to the big lake today to talk with the Army Corps about the major work being done on the lake and their outlook for the weeks ahead. At Port Mayaka in Martin County, it looks ominous. The return of blue-green algae, triggering concerns of another environmental crisis. Absolutely no indication right now of a repeat of 2018. 40 miles away at the Army Corps headquarters in Clewiston, Colonel Andrew Kelly says what they're seeing on the lake now doesn't necessarily mean bad months are ahead. There's been some subaquatic vegetation growth, and we're a few years removed from the last major hurricane. What I would say to the, to the groups that are, that are fearful I would say that the indicators right now are positive um, and that between us and South Florida Water Management District, we're pulling out all the stops to get to the best place we can get to by the time the wet season starts. Wednesday, the Colonel led a tour of the biggest construction project along Lake Okeechobee, a project designed to keep the surrounding communities safe from flooding. It comes with a $1.8 billion price tag. Work to repair the Herbert Hoover Dyke started all the way back in 2007, but the Corps says they're in the home stretch. They hope to have this complete by next year. Over eight miles of cut-off wall. So what this wall does is it cuts the flow of water through the dike and it forces it deeper into the ground. Repairs will be complete three years ahead of schedule. So we got full funding, and the state of Florida kicked in $100 million to really accelerate the program. For the Corps, there's the difficulty in balancing competing interests along the lake. Colonel Kelly says it's his job to take the hits from all sides as they come up with a new plan on how and when to release water from Lake Okeechobee. Since we kind of own the levers, uh, it's really the right place to point, so we're, we're good with that. Working hard to make sure this summer is not another lost summer. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel.